everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine. This is the adventures of Jaws Jr. Today's adventure is going to be something simple. I'm going to do a cold start on Old Green. Now, if you remember, Old Green is my old 1979 Chevrolet pickup that was bought brand new in October 78, uh, basically by my dad. I got that from him roughly eight years ago. And uh, it's been my dream and my desire to rebuild it. But finances, life, everything else has gotten in the way for me building a shop so I can start the rebuild project. So uh, right now it sits outside in all the rain that we've been getting, deteriorating away. But I do get out and I start it and I actually use it quite a bit. So um, it's a good old truck. It, 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 it runs better than it looks, let's put it this way. Uh, I would trust it, trust it right now to jump in it and drive two or 300 miles without a problem. It just does not look that good. So uh, it's been about, oh, I would say about a month since I've started it last. And this past week we have had so much rain, so it's just been had 10, 11 inches of rain dumped on it. And uh, so it's time to go ahead and see about getting this old thing uh, fired up for the first time and give you guys a cold start. So here it is. This is what we're looking at. This is Old Green. So, we'll give it a good uh, start. It's going to go haul a couple half loads of firewood. I'm not going to put the wood racks on it right now. But today it's going to haul a couple loads of wet firewood uh, for the neighbors. So that's why I'm going ahead and giving it a cold start now, getting it warmed up. I'll clean off the window so I can see out of them. And then uh, we'll just go from there. So I'm going to be back right with you and we'll listen to this thing fire up for the first time and oh I would say well what did I say about a month or so thank you so much we'll be right back okay here we go uh, I'm sorry there's no tack in it this has been a bit was a basic truck when it was bought but after the rebuild I'll be putting a tack in it this may not work that's the fan start going. Uh, one of these days so I'll sit down and I'll show you, um, pop the hood, show you what's underneath. It's really nothing spectacular. A 350 crate motor with a 650 CFM holy carburetor. About as plain Jane as you can get. Um, I'm not going to rebuild this thing to break any speed barriers. I'm just going to rebuild it so it lasts many years longer and fix things like this right here. It does need new weather stripping. So that means now I've had water dripping inside here and probably going to end up having mold and stuff growing in here. Other things I will do too is replace the dash. The weather stripping around the main windshield is good. But there's a lot of things in here that needs to get taken care of. So other than that, here we go. We had a cold start of Old Green. Not too bad for an old uh, 79 pickup now, is it? With uh, 283,000 miles on it on its second motor. Not too bad. There are things wrong with it. As you can see, I just showed you the problem with the uh, weather stripping around the wing window. Um, but it's an old truck. It's going to get some TLC probably starting next year. Uh, hopefully by the end of, uh, 2000, of this year, 2016, it will uh, be at least be undercover all the time. There it goes, the electronic choke kicked in and it's getting up to temperature and it's going to run like a champ for a while. So I've got to go dump some gas into this thing um, so I can at least make it and have it run for the next hour or so without a problem and I'll talk at you guys later. Well, I decided to bring you guys along for the ride today. So 
I'm going to go get this firewood just because I feel like it. Uh, we'll be picking up my neighbor and actually my neighbors because this is all a project for them. And uh, we'll s see what we can go do. But yeah, we're going to have a good time picking up firewood. The rain has stopped. I mean, I'm really surprised that the rain has stopped. So we're taking advantage of the clear weather and uh, go get a, about a quart of firewood in two loads. Talk to you soon. Well, I was going to show you the first uh, half load that we were going to do. Then it was raining. So I thought, no, I better not. I better not take my camera out. But then I realized, the camera you guys are in right now is a waterproof camera. So the next one I will take, uh, you guys are going to get a little wet. But you're waterproof, so you can handle it. So uh, be looking for that here real soon. But yeah, I've got the first one done. It's better the truck is empty. Well, it's filthy dirty because of uh, what we're doing, but we'll get the rest of it here soon and I'll get you some pictures of a half a truckload of wood. Well, there we go. Almost a half a cord here loaded up. Kind of a nice wet sloppy day, but we'll be done with this here real soon and be able to get in front of the fire at home. But yeah, when this is loaded up, this will be about one half a quart of wood. And in my eyes, it's a half a load. After about a half hour, it's done. Going home. Going to go get it unloaded. And be done with it. So again, that's about a half a quart of wood. And it's a mix of fir, Douglas fir, maple, and white oak. Hey, everyone. Well, we're done with that project. Uh, one neighbor traded the other some for some wood, and so part of the deal was that she had to go deliver it. So that's what we did today. Although it was wet, uh, it'll have a chance to dry before she starts to use it. And now all of us who were working on this project can have a chance to go dry ourselves. Been a good day. I'm going to call it quits here. So hope everyone has a fantastic day. Until next time, see ya!